Hey there, everybody. So here's what we are going to do in this video. We are going to go set ourselves up with the community. Then what we want to do is walk through the steps on setting it up to uh, develop or to set up a payment page so that people can actually go and pay for it to become a member of the community. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to first create our community. We're going to go up here to products and we're already in communities. Uh, if you aren't already, you go to products and then you'll go to communities and we're there. Then we're going to click on the blue button for create a community and we're just going to call this a test community. And we're in one of my test accounts here and path can be anything. Um, We'll call this pulse buys, and it does have to be all lowercase. Got to spell impulse right. Buys for you dash hangout. And save. All right, so there we go. We've got our community now. If we go and click into it, I'm going to open up in a new tab. There's our hang, there's, there's our community. All right, so now what we want to do is, I'm going to exit out of that. Don't need that open. Let's go back, and we have to figure out a way to make this community available to people. So how we'll do that is we go into um, our funnels. All right, I got a test funnel here. And let's just go over to our squeeze page. I'm gonna click on edit page. And then in here, we'll have something like, um, I'm going to put, something in here for an actual order. So we'll scroll down through here and we have a checkbox, we have a form. All right, so we don't have a block yet for, if we look at the elements, we're not seeing any elements over here for uh, buying anything. And we really want uh, an element for, for making a purchase. So let's go over to blocks. System's gonna have a whole bunch of uh, blocks that we can use that are built and kind of already set up for the different things that we want to do. So we have an opt-in form here. We don't want that, uh, but we do want something maybe like a, uh, a price plan. Uh, that's still kind of not really what I'm looking for, uh, but let's pop it open and just take a look. Um, this looks good here. I'm just going to pop that in. It's, it's going to pop it all the way to the bottom. Let's, let's take that up a little bit. This looks good. And then here we can go and do the impulse buys for you hangout. We're gonna leave that at 29 a month. And then we're gonna do save changes. And then we'll go to buy now, we'll click on that. So next step is fine. We're gonna go and save changes. And then we will go and exit out of here. All right, and then right now we have a thank you page, but we need, uh, we don't really need a thank you page. We actually need more of like a sales page. So create a funnel step. Uh, this will be a community checkout, we're gonna call it. Okay, uh, choose the step type. And in here, we're gonna go to uh, order form. You know, we could do a sales page. We don't need that. We actually need an actual order form where they're going to um, check out. Okay. Going to click on save. And then this is going to give us a whole bunch of different templates that we can start out with. Um, and I like to just kind of keep things simple. Um, this one here, let's just go ahead and we'll just take this first one and select that. Okay. So obviously, uh, you're going to want to go into this form and you're going to want to you know, if we open it up and, and look at it, um, put your logo on it, put your colors on it, tweak all this, et cetera, et cetera, so that I'm going to take this completely out uh, so that it's matching the rest of your site, obviously. Uh, save changes. I'm going to use the back button up here in the top right hand corner to exit out. And then right in here, we have a sales limit. We're not going to put any kind of a sales limit. We could put in here if we wanted to affiliate commissions. We're not going to worry about affiliate commissions. Um, but right in here, choose an offer type. Um, it's, it's a course uh, or it's a community. So it's a, a digital product. All right. It's not a physical product. Right in here in resources. Resources which the customer is going to receive to access the purchase. Okay. Right in here, you'll use... You'll click on the plus button, then you'll have a drop down, 
and then you have communities. So we can have course bundles, tags. It's going to be a community. Choose a community, test community, and then save. Okay. Once you've got that saved, you'll go into your price plan. You're going to actually need to be able, you're going to need to create a price plan. Um, but before you can do that, you do have to have a payment gateway connected. So this is where you need to go back and either connect your PayPal and or the Stripe. And once you have that set up, you're going to be able to then go and uh, make a payment plan so that when people sign up for this, let's go and I think that's as far as we can get on that. When people sign up for this, you can charge them the $29 a month or however much you want to charge them. All right. Uh, down below in the uh, description of this video, you will find a link that you can use to log into and create a system account. If you don't already have one, we are affiliates for system. Uh, it doesn't cost you a thing, but if you use our affiliate link and end up using uh, an actual paid plan, again, system's completely free to get started. Uh, but if you do decide, hey, I want more bells and whistles, uh, that, that helps us out. So again, thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.